hey, good day to you. Hey, I wanted to just welcome you to this week's Pause on Purpose. And I'm so excited about it that I kind of lost my cue there. But I appreciate your patience. But hey, I don't know if you've ever been on the ocean or in a great lake or some other lake when a storm rises, like the one behind me. Um, there was one occurrence. I was on a small 18-footer inboard outboard. Actually, it was an outboard. Uh, nice little boat, wooden boat that my friend and his dad invited me out on. We were on uh, out on a sunny day in Lake Geary. And the waves were probably three to five feet. Nothing big. Typical, right? But here's the thing about uh, Lake Geary. On average, it is the shallowest of Great Lakes. And those of you who know the sea and the rules of the sea, understand this. Where, there, where the water is most shallow, storms can come up like that at a blink of an eye. And we were out probably about a mile off the coast of Cleveland, Lake Erie. And all of a sudden a marine warning came in. It just said that, you know, waves are gonna increase. Um, there'll probably be a storm, uh, but you've got time. Well, we just kept our eye on the horizon. We kept doing everything we were supposed to do. But all of a sudden we went from three to five foot waves to probably seven to 10 foot waves, something like that. Seven, maybe eight or nine, maybe not 10. But anyways, my point is Lake Erie got choppy in a hurry. I mean, a hurry. And thankfully this boat that we were in had a nice big bow on it and it could take the waves. Uh, but I gotta tell you that, uh, that trip going back into the Harbor, it was a little nail biting at times. And, uh, but again, I don't know if you've ever been on a, a ship like that when things got a little bit dicey, if you will. And it, it makes you uh, sharpen up your prayers and it definitely makes you think about the what ifs. This week's pause on purpose, a little prolonged, but we're gonna be talking about finding courage in life storms. Are you facing a storm of life today? I mean, we're either coming out of a storm, we're out of a storm, we're going into a storm, or we're in the midst of a storm. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter who we are. It doesn't matter uh, what person we are, white, black, yellow. We could be a Martian if there was such a thing. Um, and we, it doesn't matter our, our economics, our socioeconomics, rich, poor, somewhere in between. We all go through storms of life. And storms are inevitable. They're unpredictable. Uh, they're impartial. But they're purposeful. Because God's trying to teach us something. He's trying to stretch our faith, grow it like a muscle during these times. And all this week, we're going to be talking about how to find courage in the midst of life's storms. And we're going to be using as a backdrop Acts 27, which is the ship journey, the journey on the ocean, Mediterranean Sea, of Paul when they were on their way to Rome because he was supposed to be in prison. Well, here's the bottom line. They were on their way, and you'll have to read the chapter because it's a long chapter, and we don't have time to do it. But they stopped at one place, but they couldn't harbor there for the winter. So they were thinking, you know what? If we stay here for the winter, the ship's going to get destroyed because it's just not a safe harbor. So they pack the ship when they find a window of opportunity, if you will, in the weather. The weather breaks. It's a balmy day. And they go, let's uh, saddle the horse, if you will, get out and start finding a place where we can uh, move forward. Well, they did that. And in the midst of doing that, they ran into what Dr. Luke describes as what you folks that used to live on the, on the East Coast this is a nor'easterner. This is a northeasterner. You know what that's like. And I tell you, it is, it is some powerful stuff. You don't mess with it. I don't know if you remember back a few years ago when that water surge came into New York City and man, uh, downtown Manhattan and Long Island. 
and it just, there was no stopping it. That water just came right in. Well, that's a flood. That's a kind of a flash flood, a, a storm surge. I'm talking about being on the ocean and being hit alongside of the head with one of those, and you're in a small ship with some 230-odd other people. That's the situation, much like what's behind me. And here's the first anchor that we need to cast when we're facing a storm of life. And again, we don't have much time to go into it, but I want you to know, people say you find courage from within. But in these verses right here, we find out that these guys were using their intuition in verse 11. Well, that didn't work. And then in verse 13, they were using their sailor experience. These guys were, they were old salts of the sea. And they thought they could rely on their experience to get them through the storm. That didn't work. And they thought, well, we still have our knowledge. We still can get through because we know the seas. We know uh, sailing. We can get through. Well, that's found in verses 14 through 17. And what we find out is courage is not found or does not come or originate from within. You know, beloved, when we are facing the storms of life, when we have a storm of life initiated in us, let me put it this way. When entering life storms, we need to cast the anchor of stability in our lives by sticking with the revelation of God. The Apostle Paul says in Acts 27, verse 23, he brings up God's revelation. He says, for this very night, an angel of the, of the God to whom I belong and whom I serve stood before me, saying, do not be afraid, Paul. You must stand before Caesar, and behold, God has granted you all those who are sailing with you. Wow, is that a great promise? I mean, you're facing a storm like this, and all of a sudden, an angel of God comes up behind you and says, we got this. You're going to get through it. It's crazy. We know it, but you're going to get through it, and all the people on the boat. And Paul, <laughs> Paul, You'll have to read the story because it's quite humorous. He tells the sailors and the and the centurion and and all the people who were in charge of uh, sailing the boat. They said, you, Paul, said <laughs> "Paul said, you know what? You should have listened to me. We shouldn't have gone on this trip." Okay, they're facing waves like this, and Paul goes, "I told you so." <laughs> I mean, I'm surprised they didn't throw him overboard on that one, right? But they don't. And then he tells them this divine revelation that God says, we're going to get it through. Now, it's humorous because we're on shore and we're not facing that. But man, when you're on board of a ship like that and somebody says something, you, know, you, that's the, you want to ring them up with the main sail and say, you know what, until you learn better, stay up there. And, 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 and Paul said, let me calm your hearts. God's revelation is what it is. And he will take care of us. So, when you're entering life's storms, don't neglect the word of God. Stay with the word of God. Now, today, before we leave, I want to give us the theme verse of all this week. Paul repeats it twice in verse 22 of Acts 27 and Acts uh, 27, verse 25. He says, I urge you to keep up your courage. Verse 25. Keep up your courage. And beloved, when you're entering a storm of life, keep up your courage. How? By casting the anchor of stability and staying with the word of God. Don't, don't steer away from it. Keep your heading on the word of God all times. Otherwise, We'll end up relying on our own intuition, our own knowledge, our own experience. And beloved, we'll find out from these sailors, they panicked. They lost it. You go ahead and read Acts chapter 27 today and find out how much their experience and their intuition and their knowledge didn't take them anywhere where they wanted to go. So go with God. Stick to his word because he goes with you. God bless you.